the Earth maintains a constant amount of water. Just like you, Earth is a living, dynamic being. It has veins and arteries, which are connected to one large, thriving heart, the ocean. We are just like the surface of the Earth, at least 70% water. You have hurricanes and typhoons, right? Hurricanes in the North Hemisphere and typhoons in the South Hemisphere. And you look at the way the weather patterns move on our planet, they go from the poles to the equator and back to the poles. They don't cross over. There's this double tourist behavior of how the water and the electric fields and the magnetic field of our planet is behaving. So water is an expression of the structure of space-time. We've been forming crystals for more than a dozen years. From our tests, we came to the conclusion that living water forms more hexagonal crystals, and less vibrant or dead water doesn't form hexagonal shapes. What concerns me is that water from any big city tends not to form beautiful crystals. Water plays the key role in how information is exchanged. In effect, it is the medium through which all nature is governed. Depending on age, a human being is made up of 70 to 90 percent water. An adult drinks approximately 2.5 liters of water each day in order to sustain his normal life functions. Another 1.5 liters is absorbed through the skin during bathing or showering. How, in defiance of the Earth's gravity, is water able to rise through the trunks of gigantic trees against tens of atmospheres of pressure? In a seed, for example, it reaches 400 atmospheres at the moment of germination. That's why a plant shoot can break through asphalt with ease. People don't realize that this substance, which is most common, has 63 anomalies. Every basic property is an anomaly. The water molecule is a dipole. A molecule acting through its negatively charged end can attract another molecule by its positively charged end. This is how the structure of water is formed. Somehow, among the changing forms, one can see stable formations. It is within these structures that water retains information it has captured. These clusters work as memory cells of a certain sort in which water records the whole history of its relationship with the world, as if on magnetic tape. So if water are picking up and embedding our thoughts, what is it we are thinking? You are the river. You are the ocean. Just like the raindrops that fall from above and return.